this is that part where I film the, the opening of the video to make you stay for a little bit longer. And, well, you'd figure out what's in the box if you saw the thumbnail, which, honestly, on YouTube, I can never be sure you did. However, this is worth something. Heck yeah. Adriana? Welcome. What's in the box? I think you'll like it. She'll think I'll like it. If you can't tell by the shirt, this is Adriana from, uh, from Foam Blast. Hello. Michelle is behind the camera. And they taunted me with this at the war. That they had something for me. Something I might want to put in a video. But they said I'll like it. But I don't get to actually keep it or anything. But I still have no idea what's in the box. I have literally no clue. Is it a blaster? Is it a puppy? The world may never know if they shut off this video and not see the next, like, couple of seconds. Be but... careful with the knife. In case it's a puppy. <laughs> in case it's a puppy. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, puppies need food, don't they? Has been in the car for a couple of days. <laughs> Oops. Uh... I have honestly no idea what's in this. I'm not fast forwarding through this. You get to see me desperately, gingerly open this box, put away the knife. Look at you one more time. Oh, you can have the knife, just please don't stab me yet. <laughs> the question is, what's in the box? I'm gonna open up one side. Okay, I, see it now. I have a vague idea of what this is. <laughs> this has turned into a sudden tag back, I feel. Although I don't have the ammo for it. I've never held one. So, this is a blaster that has been something I've wanted for a very long time and I've never had a chance to get one one, they're kind of prohibitively expensive because they're somewhat rare. The one sitting in front of me is perhaps the rarest of them all. I do know the curator said that he also had one. He might be fibbing. I don't know. I don't trust him. Sometimes he says that. He'll have to prove me wrong in his own video. I'd like to see a photo either way. I know. Because <laughs> as far as we know, nobody knows where this came from. And I was excited to just see the original one. And... I'm actually going to start with the original one to get some build up to it, but this is the Max Force Manta Ray. And this is a blaster buckler. It's one of the coolest things ever made, and that's where the term Manta comes from when you glue two blasters together by their grip and kind of put the triggers together much like the clowny the guitar thing i called it the tusk you, there's a video in, in the corner you figure it out <laughs> that it's very similar to this but this was the original idea and this is one of the only shields that most wars will allow you to bring it fired the old school mega darts for which i have zero and you prime it by pulling these tusks forward and then it fires both of them with, I believe, one trigger pull at the same time, yep. correct? And it's got like a kind of like a smart AR system. I, or does it shoot all four with one pull? Weather sucks. I swear, like last week, it was like 105, and now it's 56 degrees and raining every day. But I had to get this out there because yesterday we didn't fire the thing. So I have to put this video in there today. But the Manta Ray fires old school Wigan Arts, right? Well, I was looking up how the thing fires because I didn't have any old school Wigan Arts and I found Sykes video. Of course I always find Sykes video. And Sykes said that it will shoot not only Stefan's, but it will shoot the original streamlined darts, which means it would work with the leaps and stuff as well. And I looked at these holes and those holes are rather big and it turns out, yeah. You can load this thing with new school Megas, which are a completely different design than the old ones, but they do fit. Which suddenly makes this thing awesome. Now, I'm gonna fire at this trailer behind me, and you'll get a decent idea of how this thing fires. I mean, it's not terrible, it's not great, 
but it's not terrible. This is actually a pretty respectable close range distance. It's not that bad at all. And that begs the question, suddenly the manta ray is a little more awesome. I don't think anybody has shot new school megas out of this thing yet. But yeah, they work. And they work pretty darn well. If I wanted to lose these, I bet I could shotgun them over the top of this thing. And there, it is possible to put these in so far that there's not enough pred, they won't come out. So you gotta make sure they're just in there just tight enough. And it's also possible to stagger the fires if you only torque on one side of this trigger mechanism. Making this thing even more awesome. I'm very glad I have this now because it's become more important to me than my liver. I want to make this better, but I also don't want to destroy a rare and expensive blaster. Jury's still out on that one. Anyway, back to the idiots that didn't understand how it worked yesterday. Uh, give it to us yesterday, Walcom. Nobody knows where this came from. Nobody has a clue. But, this thing could be one of the rarest blasters, or it could be stupidly common and nobody's saying. But this thing is a purple one. In pretty darn good condition, although some jerk tried to take it apart at some point and didn't peel the stickers off. <sighs> jerk heads. But it's purple, and that's not painted, that is legit purple. I can tell by the scratches purple. on that. And we have no idea. I don't think anybody's done a video on a purple one before, right? If you have any information leading to the answers of where this purple thing came from, I think I and the entire community, let alone the people who own this blaster, would love to hear about it. Until we saw it in person, we didn't believe it existed. And then again, again, the curator's like, yes, I have one. I, I don't know about it. He does have like the super texts and stuff like that, but I don't know. Oh, Triple B, I don't know if I believe you. And now I'm going to hand this over to Adriana so she can dual wield shield blasters. Oh, goodness. Two hand this one. It's very. Did you keep it over the box? There's lots of bubble wrap. Because the camera sucks, uh, you didn't get to see the absolute majesty, but please, dual wield. Max Force Mantas. Smack darts out the air. I can't. I wish we could fire them. We don't have ammo. I know. I <laughs> wish I had mega darts. I should have probably talked to a dude, but yeah, I, you can't. I don't know if you can see the jealousy that's burning on my face. Would you like to dual build Mantas? I would. I am Gundam. <laughs> These are, if you could imagine, like you can't punch somebody with them, although you definitely want to. You would want to. But, and you can still <laughs> operate both of these, and yet you can shoot darts, and they're pretty decent at it. I have seen them fire before, and you can rebarrel them. But then you could also block darts. There is a downside to the Manta, and that's, they are, very fragile. Typical problems are the wings breaking off, yeah, and then of the course, the, wings gone. the things that's a very thin priming rod, and they tend to break, which is a shame. But if it's not one of the coolest blasters Nerf has ever made, and I wish they would make more cool stuff like this, but unfortunately I think they ran out of cool people working there. <laughs> All of the animal themed ones are super cool. They are. I need to get my hands on more of them. I think the only video I've done on so far on one of these is the gator. Which is one of the worst ones next to like the stinging scarab and the freaking scorpion thing. It's still fun. It is fun. This is actually <laughs> one of the cool ones. And then there's like the, I think it's like the eagle eye, the warthog are both actually good blasters. I mean, but it's Manta and I've been able to hold one now. And I'm very, very happy for that. And hey, that just knocks out a tag back. These came out in like, what, 1997? Uh, 
Dad, is there a marking on this? I haven't done research beforehand. We probably should have. Uh, Whoops. I'll just put it down there. Uh, I'll just record myself saying that it's space year 1996. So knowledgeable. I'm glad you know these things well accomplished. I know, right? I'm just amazing like that. It's I gotta do it for a living, so that is well, that almost feels better holding it like that. Good that is not only exactly <laughs> good Spider-Man. Not that one Aqu that I just reviewed like six months ago. Aquaman. It sucked horribly. Have you had a chance to play with that? It's terrible. I don't even have it a, a complete Yeah. 1996. Well, I just wasted that dubbing for no reason, but whatever. You do know just, things. I know, right? <laughs> this is probably the worst episode of Tag Back ever, but uh, I'm Walcom 7 I'm Adriana from Phone Blast. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any more comments or questions about the Max Force Meta Ray, I would love to see them. Um, if you have one, I'm very jealous of you. I will have to pick one up eventually because I do I get try to get one that's good or do I get one that's already broken and try to fix it? I don't know. But it's just such a cool blaster. But it's like, it's so cool that you don't want to use it because it would get broken, but it's like you could slap darts out of the air. Unless it hits you right here. Would they count that? They would totally count that. I don't I know how to... Of course you would. Everybody would. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. This is cool. I want to... Can I... I want to... Yeah. That's a heavy spring. Sea creatures.